Release date for season 3 of I Am Georgina confirmed. Dear friends, welcome to my channel, I am Maya. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Netflix have confirmed the date for the third installment of the successful series chronicling the life and times of Cristiano Ronaldo's famous partner. Georgina Rodriguez is back on Netflix. The mother, influencer, businesswoman and partner of Cristiano Ronaldo returns with the third installment of I Am Georgina and offers an emotional and exhaustive portrait of her daily life. The previous seasons have been massively popular, with the third expected to deliver the same level of audience numbers on the platform. In season three, Georgina is now in the Saudi capital Riyadh after Cristiano's move to the Saudi Pro League to play for Al Nasser and shows the couple adjusting to their new life. The inauguration of their first beach house, Villa Perla, and her debut at Paris Fashion Week. The series shows how the Spanish model manages to juggle all facets of her life as she jets around the world with the glamorous life, never far away headlines, headlines. The Queen of Clickbait is back claim Netflix as the biggest content generator. The woman with the most followers in Spain returns with the third season of I Am Georgina set for release on 18 September. Social media is already abuzz with comments about the trailer so far, from Georgina's look, which features long blonde hair, as many fans compare her appearance to that of Bad Gile, with the third season also featuring cameos from the likes of Sebastian Yatra, Eva Longoria, and Conor McGregor. Cristiano Ronaldo honored with special award for Ocal Legacy during UEFA Champions League 2024-25 draw. Cristiano Ronaldo is 11 goals clear of Lionel Messi and 46 ahead of third-placed Robert Lewandowski at the top of the scoring charts in the UEFA Champions League. Portugal captain Cristiano Ronaldo added another feather to his cap when he received a special award from UEFA for his stellar legacy in the elite continental competition in Monaco on Thursday. The former sporting club de Portugal, Manchester United, Real Madrid and Juventus forward is 11 goals clear of Lionel Messi and 46 ahead of third-placed Robert Lewandowski at the top of the scoring charts. For me, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for this amazing award. As you know, Champions League is the highest in football. The records speak for themselves but the league is at that level because of the players that play in the competition. I have nice memories coming to this gala and football is managed by memories. So thank you for this, he said, after receiving the award. The Portugal forward won the competition once with Manchester United and four times with Real Madrid making him the first five-time winner in the competition's history and is the only player to date to have scored in three separate UEFA Champions League finals, 2008, 2014, 2017. He holds the record for the longest Champions League scoring streak, having struck in 11 successive matches from June 2017 to April 2018. Ronaldo has also scored an astounding eight Champions League hat-tricks, the first one is always the special one when I was in Manchester. Of course, Real Madrid was differently special, winning four times there. At that time, in Lisbon in 2018, I remember I felt like the most expensive player in the world and there was pressure about winning the Champions League. But I think goals and trophies are like ketchup. Once it start coming, they keep coming, he added. Not my goat Kylian Bapp's X account gets hacked posts Cristiano Ronaldo with Lionel Messi tweet. Kylian Mbappé's ex-account posted controversial tweets about the Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo debate on August 28. The Real Madrid superstar's account became the victim of a group of hackers, posting a range of contentious posts regarding football, the Israel-Palestine conflict, and an online cryptocurrency scam. In one post, Mbappé's account hailed Ronaldo as the greatest football player of all time. Meanwhile, a derogatory term was used to describe his former Paris Saint-Germain teammate Messi. The hack also saw Kylian Mbappé's account firing several tweets in favor of Manchester United. 
Besides claiming that Manchester is red, the Real Madrid frontman hailed the popular X account as the best account on football Twitter. Mbappe's account even claimed that the Frenchman would go to Manchester United in 2028. Additionally, the French superstar's account posted multiple tweets about a new cryptocurrency called Dollar Mbapp. According to a report by BN Sports, the value of the cryptocurrency peaked and plummeted within minutes. Fans were left confused about whether Mbapp was hacked or was trying to promote his new cryptocurrency. One user even made a staggering profit out of this debacle. According to the report, he purchased $286 worth of tokens and sold them at a peak value of around $200,000. What has the real Kylian Mbappe said about the Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi debate? Kylian Mbappe's admiration for Cristiano Ronaldo is well documented. The Frenchman grew up idolizing Ronaldo and watching videos of him playing football all day long. Donning a Real Madrid jersey, Mbappe even met the Portuguese legend when he was 14 years old. Later on, Mbappe was teammates with Lionel Messi, and the two combined with Neymar to form a formidable frontline for Pez from 2021 to 2023. He even played against the Argentine in what is hailed by pundits as one of the greatest World Cup finals in history in 2022. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have dominated the world of football for over two decades and share 13 Ballons d'Or between them, eight for Messi and five for Ronaldo. Both currently play football outside of Europe. While Ronaldo is filling stadiums in the Middle East with Al Nasser, Messi is mesmerizing crowds in the United States with Inter Miami. If someone hates Messi, they don't truly love football Manchester United legend, weighs in on the Cristiano Ronaldo Lionel Messi debate. Cristiano Ronaldo's former Manchester United teammate, Patrice Evra, has weighed in on the GOAT debate between the Portuguese and Lionel Messi. The Frenchman questioned fans who used the debate as an excuse to disparage the Argentine star because they preferred his ex-teammate. Evra joined the Red Devils in 2006 and played alongside the legendary Portuguese for three years at Old Trafford. The duo helped the English club to immense success during their time together, winning every trophy available. Evra has been vocal in his support of the Portuguese legend often speaking of him in glowing terms. He recently hit back at those who disparage Messi in favor of Ronaldo, saying on We Are The Overlap. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are two of the greatest players in the history of the sport with massive fan bases that are often at odds with each other. The Portuguese star has scored 893 goals, and provided 285 assists in 1229 career games. While Messi has 844 goals and 413 assists in 1091 career games. Cristiano Ronaldo's Manchester United teammate reflects on playing against Lionel Messi. Cristiano Ronaldo's teammate at Manchester United, Patrice Evra reflected on his duels against Lionel Messi during his time with the Red Devils. The French defender faced the Blaugrana legend four times with the English side, winning one time, drawing once, and losing twice. Speaking about his clashes with the Argentine Mastro on the Stick to Football podcast, brought to you by Skybet. Evra made 379 appearances for Manchester United, scoring 10 times and assisting 33 goals, and remains a fan favorite for his contribution to the English club.